Welcome to the pier. This is part one of a series called The Bedrock Trials. And in this video, I have to try and make it from this piece of bedrock to the piece of bedrock that's at the other end of this pier. And that sounds easy, right? Well, what happens if I slip and fall? I die. Okay, so it's not safe. The water isn't safe. Basically, you're going to find out that nothing's really safe on this pier. Because there's going to be a lot of problems that we have to overcome. There's a lot of... Let's just say there's some things on this pier that are going to try and kill us. It's just going to be mobs. I don't know why I'm making it sound so ominous, but it's just going to be mobs. Um, okay, so let's start. The rules, only two rules, adventure mode and hard mode. Which, I'm going to get on hard mode now. Okay, so in this chest we get a wooden sword and five apples. This is all we're going to have. The pier is a thousand blocks, by the way, so we should be fine now. Let's start. I don't think there's going to be any problems near the start here. There's a lot of light with all these torches. Oh, okay. There are some things here. My strategy is just going to be to knock things out of the pier. Or maybe I can get a creeper to explode. Okay, I still took some damage, but it was fine. Most things I can just like knock off the pier. But if I do need food, I can just kill zombies. Alright, that's fine. And every 100 blocks, we're going to have these safe zones. So, this is the first one. And we've got a furnace, crafting table, and a ender chest. I don't know why I added all these things. I don't even think I can use them. But, <laughs> hey, it's a safe zone. Alright, so let's keep going. This, um, yeah, this video idea, for some reason... I got it through a dream because I found myself stranded in the middle of the ocean just on a pier that just kept going and I was like, damn, this would make a cool video idea. We're on safe spot too. Nothing else here. Seems to be easy right now. Nothing too crazy. All right, we've got some parkour as well. Oh my God. All right, I'll see you guys back then. Okay, I'm back. Hopefully we make it this time. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, I'm going to try this pier as long as it takes. Luckily, I made it past that after these skeletons, like uh, before these skeletons spawned. Jeez. But yeah, as I was saying, um, I got this video idea in a dream. And I don't know. I just felt like I had to record it. All right, this skeleton. Just like jump over it. Oh my God, there's so many things. Okay, they're fighting. That's good. Okay, these aren't that bad. Skeletons are pretty bad. Okay, that's fine. We're in safe spot four. I can't use any of these things, but at least they're there. Now the pier is closer to the water. Oh my God. Okay, the thing is mobs don't die in the water, but I do die, so I have to watch out. Oh, music disc. That's fine. At least I got some more food. Okay, I need to get out of here. Oh, no. No. All right. I'll see you guys back there. Oh, my God. I don't think I'm going to make it back there. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, it's not going to be that easy anymore <laughs> to make it back. But we're chilling. Okay, that's fine. That's not fine. That's not fine at all. Okay, it's. I think it's going to start getting... Harder and harder past that point. That point's like, it's about a quarter through the pier, I think. The point where I keep dying. Oh my god. I'm just trying to rush to where it was that I didn't really pay attention. Okay, but for some reason the mobs despawned, so I need to use this opportunity. Just got to get past all this. Yeah, skeletons are a big problem. I did a similar challenge video to this, where I was inside a tunnel. And skeletons were just so annoying, because they're so strong. Like, everything else you can just outrun. Ah, uh, okay. This parkour is going to be the death of me so many times. Because I'm not that good at parkour. My goal is to finish this. I have to finish this challenge. There's no way. No matter how long it takes. Okay, a witch. Okay, so here there's no light. So things can actually spawn much easier. Oh my god. I just want to see if that skeleton would fight the witch. What? How is that possible? Where is this witch? I can hear it. 
Oh, okay. How did it get so... How did it get there so fast? Okay. I need to find a better strategy. I need a better strategy for real. Oh, okay. What if I use this creeper? What? <sighs> okay, I guess those safe zones aren't really that safe after all. I mean, <laughs> the mobs aren't that dumb. They can just go around it. All right, let's get back. At least I've got full health now. Actually, not for long. Why didn't I use that? I said I was going to use that as a strategy, knocking them off, but I haven't used it once. Okay, okay. Getting better at that. Also, spiders can just climb over these walls. Oh my god. All right. All right, I'll accept that. Parkour, parkour, parkour. Back to parkour. Oh my god. Okay, I'm going to start having a counter every time I die there. I'm going to start counting it because I'm going to die there so many times. Also, my wooden sword, I just realized how much durability it's actually losing. So... I'm going to refrain from using that unless I really need to. Because that's my only weapon and there's no way I can get another one. Unless a mob has one. But I don't want to rely on that. I just want to save this. Alright, back to the parkour. Two, three. Alright, let's try this one more time. One, two, four. Okay, alright, that's fine. See, I, I made this map. But I don't know why I made that so hard. Even I can barely do it. I could have probably just ran and saved more health. Don't tell me the witch is there. Where is this witch? <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> jump scare. Creeper jump scare. Let's get back. And now I left all the doors open. So the safe spots aren't really going to be safe anymore. Actually these safe spots are barely safe to begin with. Like look at that. It's more just like rest stops. In the next challenge I'll definitely have chests there or something. The thing with those jumps is you have to be on the very edge of the block before you jump. And that makes it pretty hard to time. But it's satisfying when you do get it. Okay, so all of this and we're still not at the halfway point yet. I mean, we're getting close to the halfway point. But that's when things really start getting crazy. Okay, I'll just have a compilation of my parkour deaths. And then we can skip to the next section. Okay, so I think just running past all these is the best bet. There's no other way. Also, the spider's gonna climb up. Oh my god. Please tell me there's nothing bad here. What? What? How is that even possible? Okay. That safe zone has more mobs than like the area around it. That safe zone's a, a death trap. <laughs> Let's just get out of this area. Okay, I can't. I have to stick my ground. Why is there a witch noises? Nothing else can get me here. So, I can just camp here for a second. While I figure out my next step. <gasps> Wait, an iron sword? That could be good. Don't drown. Oh my god, I was trying to... <laughs> I was trying to make the creeper die by exploding itself. But I got too close to the radius. Also, it would have been cool to actually get that iron sword. I think I've got the hang of this parkour now. Yeah, as long as I just keep going straight rather than just swerving a little bit like that. Because when I swerve, I lose a bit of ground. <gasps> iron sword? I might actually try and get that. Don't knock the zombies. I'm going to try and get the creeper to kill them. I was going to try and get the creeper to kill them, but I think it's best if I just kill it myself. Because this is going to be very useful. Please drop it. I swear, if the other zombie picks it up... Did it drop? No, it didn't. <sighs> okay, I'm just gonna run past all this then. She could use the rotten flesh. No. Enchanted bow? Could it drop that? Oh no. My sword is gone. My sword is gone. Oh, okay. My sword is gone, which means I can't really fight that well now. And just so you know, when I start this challenge, it means I can't restart it, so I can't get another sword. I have to just go with what I have now, which is a music disc, string, gunpowder, and a spider eye. Oh my god. Okay. How? <laughs> what? 
I just died twice. They killed me so hard, I died twice. Okay, safe spot. Let's make sure nothing bad is here. Okay, it's that zombie. At least I got the run flesh. Oh my god. There's no way. I need to knock this off. Alright. Okay. Spiders are coming. I think the best bet is to just run through all of this. How is this even possible? Okay, I need a strategy for that area because that area is completely dark and a lot of things spawn. So, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to need to do something. Because there's no way I can <laughs> legitimately just walk through that or even fight through that. Okay, what if... Okay, I'm going to try and get other mobs for cover. And I've got an idea. So, okay, I have an idea. This idea is going to involve creepers. So... I'm going to try and get a creeper in a huge group of mobs and just stand next to it like this and then boom. Oh, it was supposed to kill. Okay. Maybe that's not as good as I thought. What? I have to do this parkour. That parkour is so stressful when you've got like 50 mobs behind you. But I'm not giving up. I'm going to complete this challenge. I think a lot of it comes down to RNG as well. Sometimes you're not going to get the best mobs. It's just how it is. I wonder if I can somehow kill an enderman. And then I could use an ender pearl somewhere. Oh my god. Take the gunpowder. I don't know what I can do with it. Okay, I've been forced to go here by these spiders. Okay, okay. They've got weapons. This is going to take a while, but I think I can kill them and take the weapons. Okay. None of them dropped their weapons. Well, it was just shovels anyway, but that's better than hands. I'm not going to lie, guys. I didn't expect this to be so hard. This challenge. I thought this challenge would be much easier than it is, but that's actually good in a way because if I can overcome it, it means that, well, I overcame something that was pretty hard. It's not like a walk in the park. And that's what you always have to do. You have to find things that are hard to do rather than easy because that's what makes you improve. Whoa. Am I seeing this right? There's no mobs here. Means I can do this parkour in peace as long as I actually make it. This looks easy, but it's so stressful. I don't want to be sent back. There's the next checkpoint. Yeah, it looks so easy, but <laughs> it's not in the moment. Okay. This is the underwater bit. Oh my god. Okay. I have to go down here. Underwater. But there's so many mobs down there. If I go there, I'm dead. What can I do? <sighs> okay. The checkpoint is right there. Is there any world which I survived this? And now look. There's mobs there. I got really lucky there were no mobs before. So if I jump down here, if I lure the zombie and the creeper first, I can get rid of them. Right, that's my best bet. Okay. Okay. And if I can get the spider and the skeleton to fight, it's my only chance. They have to fight. There's no other way. No. Ah, <sighs> that was so close. But hey, now we're definitely halfway. That underwater bit marks about the halfway point. I just need to be smart about it. And it depends what mobs are down there. It forces you to actually think because it just depends on what mobs it is. You can't do the same strategy for every mob. Some mobs you can run past. Some of them you have to make fight. Yeah, it just depends on the situation. Okay, the zombie just took care of the skeletons. Thank you. Okay, this one's not going to be as easy. Oh my god. 
my god. What? Oh my god. Can I do anything with what I have? No. I can make a piece of wool. Which doesn't do anything. Okay, parkour is already hard on its own. But whenever there's mobs, it makes it near impossible. I think creepers are the easiest because most of the time you can just run past them. Oh, okay. I got an arrow, so if I get a bow... Yeah, so if I get a bow, it's happy days. Skeletons are also the hardest to actually kill. It's kind of ominous. There's no mobs here or back there. Alright, I'll take it. Okay. Still a skeleton and a spider. Two spiders. How will I go about this? I think I can just run. Because I have a lot of health. I can make it. What? No, I can't. I cannot make it. Okay. Spiders coming this way. There's nothing I can do but run. Chaos. Absolute chaos. Look at me. I'm just minding my own business on the pier. Hopefully nothing comes and ruins that. Hopefully it's all smooth sailing. Hopefully it's just... It's just a pier. There's nothing else here. Okay, barely any mobs there. I need to go. There's two spiders there. Can they get off that ladder? I think my only option here is just to rush. Alright, I have a new strategy. It involves zombies. I'm gonna need to get as much rotten flesh as I can because I want to always be on full health, so that's something I can control. Alright, I can't control what mobs are gonna spawn. I can't control anything else about this challenge, but I can control how many rotten flesh I have in my inventory because that was what matters. If I'm running through a horde, I'd rather be running through it with full health than not full health. Oh, if I can get that shovel. Four rotten flesh is pretty good, but I would do want to have more as well. Because in some instances, I have no choice but to just run past so many mobs. What? A zombie villager. Okay. Zombies really love their shovels, don't they? Okay, six rotten flesh. Alright. I think six is enough. For this strategy to work, I need to have full health until I make it to that really hard bit with all those mobs. So I just need to keep at full health if I can. And I always need to remain on full health. So I always need to heal up using the rotten flesh. A dolphin? That's the first time I've seen one today. That's insane. Are they rare? I don't know how rare they are, but that was pretty cool. Okay. Remember, I need to be on full health at all times. Oh my god, again. Wait, what? Where'd it go? Did it just... Oh, it fell. Okay, I need to regroup. Heal up some health. There's a dolphin. It's trying to warn me. Oh, okay. What the hell? Why'd I open that? Okay, I think I can just run past all this. Okay, I need to look ahead as well. No. Okay. The rotten flesh is gone. It's completely gone. But I'm not giving up. I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep going. I will keep going. No matter what it takes, I will finish this challenge. The video could go on for five hours. Well, I'm going to cut it, but <laughs> the recording could go for five hours. I can try this way. Maybe that way will give me luck. What? How are the... Where is the skeleton? Oh no. I should put a clickbait thumbnail and type Minecraft's hardest map on the title and just the whole video should just be a compilation of deaths. It's got its bow already drawn 
And the moment I show my head, it's gonna shoot. Whoa, an invisible spider? Those are rare, aren't they? Where is that? There, wait. Whoa, okay. I guess you end up seeing everything, huh? I want that leather armor there. Please don't tell me to despawn. Sneaky idea. Like that. Use the creeper. Oh, forgot about you. I can't even see what I'm hitting. What? There's, there's like a horde of skeletons. As long as I get this leather armor. Okay, I got a cap with one durability. Oh, I don't want to use it just yet. Okay, I'm going to use creepers. Okay, yeah. Creepers are going to be my weapon. So the leather hat, I'll use it in the underwater part when there's so many mobs down there. I feel like it's possible because you have to keep inventory on on this. To just scavenge stuff from mobs and eventually get really OP. What? No! That part of the pier was completely empty. So if I just kept running and I didn't get hit, I would have been fine. I would have made it. That's what happens on the pier. Anything can happen on the pier. Literally anything can happen. That's actually what makes the pier so good. Oh, witch. Okay. Epic fail. Oh, I've got... Do I have slowness? No. What? There's always chaos on that part of the pier. There's always chaos. This witch. I don't even know if it's possible to kill witches with just your hands. I think it is if you critical hit it. Oh, okay, every time I go somewhere now, this witch is gonna probably throw something at me. Whatever happens, I know this challenge is possible. It's definitely possible. I'm not being asked to fight like the wither with my hands, but it is actually pretty challenging. <laughs> Don't do it. It's actually a pretty good situation. It's always the skeletons. I know it's not going to leave me alone. Yep, it's definitely not. Okay, if those two spiders weren't there, this would be... It would be more than possible. They're just camping the ladder, though. Like, they might be stuck there. <laughs> what are the chances they despawn? I'm willing to bet it's pretty low. Alright. I think if I heal up, it should be fine. So I'm gonna get some rotten flesh from back here. This is definitely gonna take a while. I'll skip to when I've finally done it. That's enough to heal up a little bit. So I'll put on my helmet. <laughs> it's definitely not the best situation. Oh, they despawned. What? What other chances? Okay. Just one spider. Oh my god. I made it. I made it past all that. I'm not gonna let this spider ruin it. Not after all that. Not after all that. I'm gonna get the hell out of here. I actually don't want this chasing me though. We're almost up to the safe house. The reason it's called the safe house is because there's actually walls. Oh my goodness. <sighs> right, this is when things get insane. The spawn is here, so I need to move as fast as possible. Okay. Nothing spawning, which is extremely good luck. <sighs> oh my god. There's the pig spawners. There's food here. I need to be careful. I need to be very careful. Because I think if I'm dead now, it's going to be almost impossible to get back here. The amount of time this took. Easily around two hours to get to this point. And there doesn't seem to be anything there either. I want to need to use this opportunity. That is very rare. There's nothing there. Safe spot eight. We're so close. I'm just going to rush this. There's the next safe house. A spider jockey. Okay, I felt my helmet break, but I'm here now. I think I can keep going. I think I can keep going. That's it. That's the piece of bedrock. That's it. We made it. Completed the pier. We did it. Oh my god. Oh my god. This, this was so hard. I probably cut up a lot of bits in 
post editing, but I mean during editing, but the whole thing recording it was insane. Oh my god. But it's done. The first of the bedrock trials, the pier, is done. So if you want to play this map for yourself, I'll actually make a download link in the description below. So you guys can make your own videos on this if you'd like and you know share how you went with this because this is actually really hard it's actually very hard but yeah feel free to make your own videos on this as well thank you so much for watching to the end it has been a grind but we made it as i was making this map i don't know why i waited till the end to make actual like safe houses like this because the other times it was like so unprotected things could still get you i mean this is pretty unprotected also this if you're wondering there's supposed to be skeletons here, like shooting fire arrows. But then I realized, why don't the skeletons just get flame bows instead of having to rely on that? <laughs> but whatever, it's not important. This this bit, I was expecting the spawners to actually like spawn a lot of things. But I am glad they didn't. I'm sure that if this skeleton spawner spawned like even one skeleton, I would be dead. This is a lot to do with luck, but at the same time, you do have to use strategy as well. It's like life, basically, this pier. <laughs> but, I mean, yeah, I did make it. It was a good run. I'm so glad these skeletons and everything here, there was nothing here when I came through it. I'm really glad for that because it could have been much worse. But, yeah, we made it. Now, I'll see you in the next Bedrock Trial. See you then. Bye.